Hi guys, have a new video. Um, not a beginner's video, because I just figured this out myself. I wasn't aware of it. Um, Fusion 360 video from a beginner's perspective. So, if you're not a beginner, of course, this may seem like totally obvious to you. To me, it wasn't obvious. Uh, what I am going to explain to you today is these. Uh, when you're doing a sketch, sometimes it's hard to use constraints and you don't really understand why it's hard. Like originally I had um, the sketch looked like this. I had these two lines and no matter what I did, I couldn't constrain these two lines. I don't know if you have seen my other video about removing points in 3D space to be able to constrain, but in this case it's like, okay, normally it would do this and it would, con would constrain. There, it would go black. The problem is actually the points here. You see that when, when the points are white, like this, when these points are white, the points themselves are not constrained. Which means that if you try to make something with these points, whatever you're making will not be constrained. So how do you solve this? Well, I've figured out that what you can do is you can go in and you can constrain the points to a different sketch object. Now that one is constrained because it goes black. You can do the same thing with this one. It may sound like you have to make too many constraints, I know. Um, normally we do as few as possible. And normally we would only try to make a sketch object from a constrained object. But if you have a situation like this where you are struggling to constrain, let's say, a circle or whatever, uh, like this point here, it's, it's in a different sketch but it is not constrained. Uh, but like these points here, this one is actually constrained to uh, a side here. But the points themselves are not. But it's not, not, not a problem because I'm not after using those points. Now, to be able to get a fully constrained line on both sides, I have to constrain these points to something. You see there, I try to constrain it there, it gets driven. Try to constrain it to this one. It works. Same with that one. So all those four <coughs> endpoints are now fully constrained. What happens is if I then make uh, the lines, the lines will go fully constrained. So I hope that helps some beginners who are struggling with constraints. Remember that if something is white like this, it means that that point in itself is not constrained and you can constrain it and it could be simpler to uh, fix your designs like that. Even though it's a few more measurements and something like that and some people say, oh you have a million measurements. I think it's better to have a constrained sketch than an unconstrained sketch with less measurements. Um, Simply because if you, if you move something around in an unconstrained sketch, you may get like a 0 0.000 degree off angle and then you're basically screwed because your sketch is not going to be able to uh, extrude correctly, etc, etc. And so, I hope this helps beginners to understand a little bit more about constraints and I just figured this out because I was struggling with that square. Because <laughs> normally you can just do left to right to a side, left to right to a side, and then you have a full square. In this case, I could not because the points themselves didn't align to any kind of grounding point. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video and uh, like and subscribe. Um, any new viewers and subscribers uh, help the channel. And um, in the end, Maybe someday I get, they get monetized. <laughs> anyway, uh, see you in the next one. Bye.